This video is called the Interossei of the Hand. We're starting out with a diagram of the right hand, a palm review. We're going to start by adding in the midline of the hand, which should pass right through the middle finger. When we're talking about abduction and adduction of the digits, it's always with reference to this midline. For the first thing we'll do is draw in the four dorsal abductors. Now because the third digit, the middle finger, is the midline of the hand, we know by definition that it only is able to abduct, abduct. So we have one on the lateral side and another one on the medial side of this finger. So we need two more abductors. We have one for the fourth digit of the ring finger. Okay, that's going to pull this finger away from the midline of the hand. And similarly, we have one for the second digit, or the index finger, that pulls that finger away from the midline of the hand. So there are your four dorsal abductors. Now why don't we have an abductor for the first or fifth digits? Well, if you recall, there is an abductor pollicis longus muscle from the forearm, as well as an abductor pollicis brevis muscle in the hand. You also have an abductor digiti minimi in the hypothenar compartment of the hand. Now we're going to go ahead and add our three palmar adductors, adductors. We don't have anything for the middle finger. We'll start by adding one for the ring finger, bringing the fourth digit back towards the midline. We have one for the second digit, and we have one for the fifth digit. Now, why don't we have a palmar adductor interossei muscle for the first digit, the thumb? Well, if you remember, there is an adductor pollicis muscle found in the hand as well. Uh, and again, there's no adductor interossei for the middle finger, as the middle finger is only able to abduct. And there you have your seven interossei of the hand.